So there's this guy walking down the streets of Brooklyn and he sees a sardine truck driving by and it hits a bump and opens up the back of the truck and a bunch of sardine cans fall out. So uh, he walks over and picks up the sardine cans and takes it back to his garage and and it sets them up on the shelf and forgets about them. And about four months later, there's this huge sardine shortage. And uh, the guy says, wow, that's fortuitous. So he takes all those cans that he squirreled away in his garage and he sells them uh, throughout Brooklyn. And uh, he sells them at like 10x the normal market price. So anyway, the sardine crisis continues and uh, these cans just start traveling throughout all of uh, New York and they just keep going up and up and up and up in price. And uh, eventually uh, a can sells for like $1,000. So uh, so anyway, uh, this guy named Soli, he sells it to this powerful Wall Street trader and trader buys the, uh, the can for $2,000. And uh, he's just about to go and try to negotiate and resell the can to someone else. And he says, you know what? I'm a rich Wall Street guy. I, screw it. I like sardines. I'm just going to open up the can and eat them. Why not? You know, so it's, it's a luxury. You know, people do this with caviar, so I can do it with my sardine. So he opens up the can, and takes a bite of the sardine, and spits it out. It's like the most nasty, rotten sardine he's ever tasted in his life. So he picks up the phone, and he calls up Soli, and he says, hey, you sold me rotten sardines, you bastard. Why would you do that? And he said, oh, no, no, you got it all wrong. You got it all wrong. Those aren't eating sardines. Those are trading sardines. And that, my friends, 95% of the cryptocurrency space. <laughs> MRE tokens. They're trading tokens. 